Welcome back to the house, everybody. Um, exciting day today, or this weekend. If you watched last week's episode, we got that full load bearing beam put together and in place in the attic, ready to support the load of all the ceiling joists. Now we just need to put the posts in to support the load bearing beam, and then we can remove that load bearing wall, which I've been waiting to do since we started this project when we first tore out all the um, sheetrock off the wall, paneling, and what else was there? Beadboard. It was it was a nightmare. Um, but we're in the home stretch to get that wall completely removed. I'm excited to start working on it and see what we're looking at. All right, we're back from Lowe's, and I guess we should uh, start with the most fun part, which is going to be crawling on the underneath the far side of the house. I'll show you. Here. I'm gonna have to remove this panel right here, and we're gonna crawl all the way under uh, to find out where I put a little stick coming through the floor where that is, and we'll measure for the blocking that we're gonna wind up putting in to support the beam. So let's get underneath this house. All right, it's actually pretty cool under here, temperature-wise, not uh, scenery-wise. Oh yeah, please just let there be a snake under here. I just put a cherry on top. Whoa, what the hell is that? Just a cup. Just a cup. Don't worry. All right, we made it to the spot. Okay. You can see where these beams cross. So this is the main trunk line that we're trying to push the load to. Well, pushing this beam is not even barely on the concrete support. Uh, I'm not gonna bother trying to move it over. I'm just gonna go ahead and level off this piece, this area next to it, and split another piece of concrete block underneath there for footing, and then uh, stack some new, uh, Cinder blocks. Let's do it. Well, uh, that's dirty work. Um, well, if it's easy, everybody would do it. But um, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I'm going to keep uh, trucking on getting the columns in and the blocking done underneath. We can do the whole, the easy one, which is this guy right back here. I'm going to get back to cutting and getting everything and ready to uh, put the post in. Let's get to it. I got lucky, I was able to slip one in from up here. I'm gonna have to go underneath the house though and slip the other three in and screw them all together. So let's get down there and start uh, whacking on them. Okay, with that column out, uh, we should be good to go to tear out at least half of the wall. So let's do that. Okay, now it's completely supported by the beam. Um, let's go, uh, let's go up there and see what happens. All right, we're back up in the attic. Oh, if you want a picture of what it feels like, I want you to go bake some cookies. And then a time when you go check them halfway through before they're finished, 
Open up that oven. You're here with me now. All right, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna crawl out over the newly supported uh, section of the living room and kitchen just to give it a test. I took the slow way up. I'm hoping to take the slow way down, not the fast way. Um, let's see what happens. Oh shoot, my ladder almost fell. I don't feel any creaking. Very happy. I know y'all can't see me right now. Sorry about that, but let's do something even stupider. Since that first plant worked, let's just do a little hop here. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Should we do one more? All right. I'm going to call that a... Yeah. We're good. We gotta get out of here before I get heat stroke. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy I'm done up here. Good morning. It's a new day back at the house. Um, yesterday we got the post in on the right side of the uh, wall and removed half of the low bearing wall. Today we're gonna focus on getting it finished up and putting in the post for the left side. And the task I'm looking forward to is I'll show you here. So we crawled under the house yesterday and I saw I needed to put a new support in. So we get to lug these concrete blocks underneath the house. I haven't figured out the best way to do that yet, but uh, I'm gonna work on the upper half of the insulation and then go underneath the house because yesterday when I went under the house, it just got completely disgusting. First piece is in. Went pretty smooth. You can see that notch now supporting both the beam and this uh, ceiling joist. There. So, two more of those, which will actually fill up this gap perfectly. Two more will fit right here, and then I'll be able to screw them all together, give us some nice support. And then we'll go below the house where the fun starts. Okay, easy parts done. The three two by sixes by, I guess, close to 10 foot beams are in. Post. Okay, we got the blocks in. That was fun. Um, you can kind of see how the stack's gonna happen. It'll be four high and one in the ground. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the one in the ground leveled off and then make sure that my measurements are right for how deep it needs to be. And we'll start from there. That actually went easier than I thought. Look how lovely that is. Oh yeah. Only thing we're missing now is gonna be the blocking. This is the importance of blocking. So if we didn't put blocking here in between these two floor joists, then the weight of the beam would just be sitting on the two by six that's up here as the sole plate. And then it's laying in a in a flat instead of a vertical position, so that's the weakest way to lay wood. And we're gonna go ahead and fill that to transfer the load from the two by six floor plate into those blocks that'll span these two. Well, not really span, it's probably about halfway. Span these two, and it'll bring the load directly onto this beam right here, which is what we put this new post in for. So now the load goes from the the beam to the post, to the blocking, and to these uh, big beams down here that are the frame of the house. And then it'll transfer down to this new concrete column. Woo! Hard part done.
All right, now we got the blocking in underneath the beam itself, underneath the post, which will transfer, like I said, the, the load from the beam goes to the post, which is above this floor, heads into these, and then they'll go into this main beam of the house, which is in turn transferred down to the new concrete post we made into the ground. So we've effectively transferred the load appropriately, and now let's go ahead and put some load on it. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's knock this wall out. Yeah, that made a huge difference in not having that wall right in your face when you walk in. It's going to be really nice when this is all finished up. Well, I got everything off the checklist that I wanted today. I'm very excited with the progress. I'm standing in the load-bearing wall right now. Uh, this has been here for two and a half months, and we've finally got this thing out of here. I've been waiting to see. Uh, how the room looks without it. it looks amazing. I can't wait to continue to add more finishing touches towards this room and the rest of the rooms. Um, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see y'all next week.